Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. It's good to be with all of you. My guests are here. Everything's unscripted. I don't know what objects are coming. Thanks for joining me. What fun we're going to have looking at art, antiques, and collectibles. I'll give you tips, too, about how to sell for top dollar. How are you? What's your first name? Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Show me that lamp. All right. How'd you acquire it? At a thrift store for $7. You need to stay on the object. Don't move around. Okay. At a there thrift you go. At a thrift store for $7. Oh, that's wonderful. Can you get closer to it? Yeah. Thanks, honey. Why'd you buy it? Where was it in the thrift store? Uh, they have a lamp section, and uh, there was only one of these. I know you say to get two all the time. If you can get a set, it's always a good idea to get a set because you can increase the value by about 10% in terms of value if you have the set. Can you get okay. closer to it? Yeah. It looks like the original shade. Yeah, that's good. Can you get closer to the lamp itself? Thank you. Four times. <laughs> there we go. All right, Nancy, I like it. Um, show me the base, hon. All right. Katie, help me, please. Hi, Katie. Got to help. <laughs> okay. Can, <laughs> Thank can you, you all. There you go. All right. And the, the bottom of the base, not the underside, but this, the bottom, this, the base itself. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay. 1970s, a couple different things that are happening here. First of all, I do think the shade is original to the late 1970s. The other thing about these particular uh, gourds, basically they look like balls, right? What to look for, the color and the type of colors going together is going to impact indicate age. It's also going to indicate style. I think it's definitely an American lamp. I think it's made sometime be after 1975 and before 1980. And is it 30 inches tall to the top of the shade? Yes, ma'am. Value on that lamp is going to be $125 for one. It's really nice. Based on actual sales records, I'm assuming there's no chips, no cracks, no problems with any of the of the actual gourds or any of those gla blown glass forms, right? They are perfect. Yeah, good for you. How much did you pay? What did you say you paid? $7 at the thrift ah, store. Ah, good for you. Good for you. I would love it if there was a, a, a set or a pair, but hey, you did very well for 7 bucks. Will you answer my question of the day? Sure. You're at a diner and they give you an option for dessert. Do you pick pudding or jello? Pudding. Pudding. Okay. Nice to see you, Nancy. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You too. All right. Bye bye. She was a trooper with all of, of course, the connection. She did okay. A uh, couple of different things. Don't forget, of course, to sign up to my newsletter. That's right. You can subscribe to my newsletter. It gives you a chock full of information that you can use. I always say it's news you can use at drlaurieV.com and don't miss it. Don't miss it. You just sign up. Go, of course, to uh, your menu and then get to the website and then you'll see the free thumbs up menu, that icon, go there, put in your email and then we just send it to you. You don't have to do anything else. Just wait, it'll show up in your inbox. Hey, we've got a, uh, a super chat and a super sticker. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. It helps me do more videos for you. Had a great appraisal on a painting, paid 24 and the appraisal came back at 8,000. Yeah, sometimes you just find the great stuff. I keep telling you what to treasure hunt for. You just gotta listen to me. Art jewelry, glass, furniture, ceramics. I mean, I tell you what to look for. I want you to sports collectibles. I want you basically to succeed. And that's what I do on the channel. I'm going to give you the keys to the castle, right? Uh, so all of you can do very well. I'm happy about that. $8,000. Great for a $24 investment. I'm telling you where to look. I'm telling you how to look. And I'm telling you what junk to leave at the thrift store or the yard sale or grandma's attic, you know, leave it for your cousins. That's basically what you're looking at there. Don't forget, of course, about gift certificates. Why? It's a great gift, birthday, holiday, whatever. You don't have to worry about it getting there and being shipped, it's easy. You can do a video call gift certificate or other services that we offer with a gift certificate for all of your friends and family. My guests are here, I love to see them. I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD antiques appraiser. Let's see what we've got. Let's take a look at this, um, looks like a Starburst necklace. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Robin from Florida. Hey, Robin, how are you? We've done a video call together, haven't we, Robin? We have, we have, yep. You're very nice helpful. to see you. Trying to hear you, Robin. Can you speak up? Uh, yes, we did a video call. Can you hear me now? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How'd you acquire this piece? Thrift store, $5. $5, okay. So is it marked? Unmarked, completely unmarked. Okay, so it's two, it's actually a strand with the big pendant on it, and then there's another element inside, right? Correct. This is the okay, back. so it's completely unmarked. You got to get it toward the camera for me. Okay. How's that? Eh, not great. <laughs> so take that black thing that you had it on. 
Yep. Because I'm, I'm, what's happening is we're looking at your face. Not that your face isn't yeah. wonderful, but we're looking at your face. We got to look at the eyes. Right. I gotta take your time. That's all right. I dropped it <laughs> onto my lap. Okay. Yeah, I want to hear what you guys want at the diner. Do you want pudding or Jello? Put it in the comments, and don't forget to tell me where you're where you're watching from. Okay. And can we see the front? Yep. A oh, couple of different things. I'm going to tell you what to look for with these types of pieces. First of all, that piece dates to the late latter part of the 20th century. For five dollars, she did great. But a couple of things I want you to look for. First of all, you'll notice that you've got, of course, this idea of uh, a repeated pattern. A pattern within a pattern is very typical. So you've got, of course, those teardrop-shaped uh, crystals, and then you've got the exterior sort of column crystals, too. As you see those repeated shapes that sort of go within each other, you're going to see pieces that oftentimes date at, into the 1960s. Also, when you see a large, like a, like a Cuban uh, link, so the Cuban link is that big link that you see here. Sometimes it's really, really big. You see the baseball players wearing those necklaces around their neck, right? Those big links, right? That link is called the Cuban link. And that particular link is very, very popular at the end of the 1960s. The piece in the, in the middle, the pendant, is pretty typical, characteristic, classic. So what they've done is they've done put something contemporary for the time with something classic for the time. I like this piece for five bucks. I think it's made in New York. I think it's made anytime between 1965 and 1975. Value on it, $85. So you paid five to make 85. <laughs> That's right. I like it. Um, so a couple of things. Do you use the binge link when you binge the, the um, videos here on the channel? I do. I do. Okay. The binge link, of course, you can find at drlaurieV.com. What's the binge link? The binge link actually allows you to get all of my videos in order. They do the most current one first, so you don't miss a video. People are saying, I don't know. You don't talk about jewelry. I'm like, you missed the binge link. I talk about that all the time. So basically, I want you to go and use the binge link because then you'll get served up these particular pieces. If you subscribe, you'll also get alerts. So thanks for using the binge link. You can find it on my specials and shop page at drlaurieV.com. Hey, my question of the day, Robin. Uh, you're at the diner, pudding or jello? Pudding, for sure. Pudding, all right. We all like pudding. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Okay, I'm with you, girl. I'm with you. Nice to see you. Nice to Likewise, see you. Thank you so much. I'm Dr. Lori. Got so much stuff to tell you about. Don't forget you're supporting the channel when you buy the merchandise. You ask for t-shirts and mugs and such. Don't forget when you, are of course, can support the channel when you are, in fact, um, uh, purchasing something like that from the channel. It's very easy to do. I do get compensation when you purchase uh, merchandise or products from the from the website or the channel. So it will help me to make more videos for you. I'm trying to make more videos for you to give you this information that's going to help you to help you do things like buy something for $24 that's worth a thousand, right? People are making a lot of money following this channel. So share, share, share. And don't forget, of course, to buy that merchandise if you can. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. Show me those objects. Let's see. Let's see what this orange necklace is. Could be coral. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Lori. Lori, you got a big smile there, Lori. <laughs> Thanks. How are you doing? Where are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm in Texas. Okay. What have you got? Well, this was a necklace that I inherited from my aunt. All right, that's beautiful. Is it 30 inches long? Is it down here? It's 28 and a half. 28 and a half inches long. Can you get it yes. closer to the camera? Can you bring it closer to the camera? There you are, better. Okay, so multi strands looks like coral, and I would say you probably have at least 25 or 30 strands there. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Is the class the gold? Is the class silver? Is the class just um, a toggle? What is it? Um, there actually isn't a class. It's two burnt ends. Okay. Um, so, um, and it weighs 198 grams. Okay, so it's relatively heavy and it's just worn yeah. around. I see. So there isn't a class that you have to utilize. So coral, nice necklace, probably dates to about the middle part of the 20th century was your aunt. Uh, so did you get it as a hand-me-down, an heirloom? It, it is. Her and my uncle were missionaries on Native oh. American reservations. Okay. Um, the women, right, I have a whole slew. I'm just waiting to get all organized before I schedule um, a video. You can do a 30 minute video call with me. You can also do our priority ask Dr. Lori service where you basically have unlimited and you can just um, 
po put the photographs to me and I send you back an email with information about it. But the video calls are a good way to do it. Lay everything out on a table and have the video call with me. Get organized and then, you know, yes. go from there. If you're organized, I'm fast. We can get a lot done. Value on that piece, $175 to $200. In a good market, $200. In this market, I'd say $175. Based on actual sales records, also you have provenance, right? You have, of course, the connection to the actual maker because you can connect it to your relatives who actually were right there with the, with the original artisan. That's great. That increases value beautifully. So I hope you wear it in good health. Hey, one more thing. Question of the day. You're at the diner. They offer you pudding or jello. Which do you choose? Jello. Jello. Okay. <laughs> jello. Yeah. I make jello every once in a while. I go, I'll have some jello, you know. And then you want to put whipped cream on it so it defeats the whole jello purpose. <laughs> right? You got to have fruit in it. You got to have something sweet in it. Nice yeah. to see you. Take care, nice Lori. Nice to see you. Thank you. You too. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. A lot of great stuff. Remember, if you can connect provenance, right? Provenance from the French to prove it, to prove how this object got to in your hands is extremely important for value. People love the story. The story is the greatest part of the whole collecting genre. Everybody goes, yeah, it's about making money. Sure. But it's also about collecting and maintaining heritage and preserving objects, preserving history and the story. So provenance helps you to tell the story. And of course that impacts value too. My guests are here. Thanks for being with me. It's nice to see all of you. Hold up those objects. Let's see what you've got. Cameras have to be horizontal, please folks. Cameras have to be horizontal, please. She's gonna pick seven of us. Let's see, let's see what that, that Gold, that silver object is that's on the on a blue uh -huh. table. Is this Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, is this a makeup case? Yes, it is a compact mirror. What's your name? My name is Selena. I'm calling from Bigfoot, Texas. Hey, Selena, let's see your pretty face, honey. <laughs> okay. I got to see you, Selena. <laughs> okay. There you are. Hi, darling. Hi. All right. You were doing great showing me that object. Let's see that object again. Okay. So you've got a compact. Is it marked? Is it marked yes. at all? So it's it's a makeup it, compact. Yes, and it has these two little fabrics inside. Okay, so that's so the powder basically will go through, so you won't use up all the powder. It'll go through that right. little sieve, and then when you put on the when you put on the powder, basically you put on the powder, you you don't waste all of it. You don't get too much, basically. So then you end right. up looking like powder face, you know. And it's is in it, very good condition. So. Is it marked? It is marked. It's marked right here. Let's see. I don't get yeah, into well, focus. Close. What does the mark say? It says Sterling good. 925SF. Okay, good. And then it has, um, I believe it's eight. One five. I'm losing you. I'm losing. I'm losing your your. There you go. Now you're back. Okay. okay. So on the underside, is it marked on the underside with a country of origin? Does it say no. Germany? Says nothing. Okay. All right. No. So here's what you've got. You've got a ster sterling silver compact, probably dates to the 1950s. What I want oh, you to wow. look for is a good, strong, clear mirror. The mirror has to be clear, not okay. cloudy, not broken, not any problems with it. Doesn't look like like um, it's just the, a little dirty. Start, I'm sorry. When the mirrors start to get unsilvered, right? When mm -hmm. they start to get water in there, you don't want any of that. It's good that you have the little paste. I wish you had the actual powder element too. I would say value on that piece about seventy five dollars. Where did you get okay. it? Um, my husband bought it at an estate sale. How much? Ten dollars. Very good. Yeah, your husband's a thrift store hunter, right? Right, and yeah. he, it also comes with this little pouch. Yeah, the the pouch I would think is probably not consistent with that object. That pouch is not okay. is not elite enough for that object. They might have put it in that pouch, but that pouch didn't come with that object. That object had a much better pouch than that one. Hey, my question of the day is, of course, you're at a diner, pudding or Jello? Um, pudding, definitely. Pudding, great. Nice to see you, Selena. Great, nice to see you too. Thank you. Watch you're your show, show all the time. Thank you, honey. Keep watching. Thank you. And for the rest of you, keep sharing. You need to share the channel. I need you to help me. I help you all the time. I need you to help me share this channel. Share the videos. Make sure you tell folks about it. 
So I, of course, can continue to make videos for you. I've got a whole bunch of folks who are trying to help you to succeed with me in the front. So I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. It's great to see all of you. My guests are here. Let's see what they've got. Hold up those objects. Let's see what you've got. Let's talk about pearls. Yay. Yay. What's your name, hon? Me from the Adirondacks up by Plattsburgh. Oh, Plattsburgh, New York. Wow, you're up there. Beautiful country, though. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. It's fall time. Oh, I just love it. What's your name? Debbie. Hi, Debbie. What have you got there? Well, I hope they're real. I've been trying, but they're pearls. They're about 56 inches. They're get, them right up to, get them right up to the camera, hon. Okay, they're not real, darling. <laughs> no, well, I only paid a dollar, so I guess it's Yeah, okay. but 56 inches of a doll for a dollar is not bad, <laughs> even that they're not real. They're very, oh. they're nice. They have a little bit of weight to them, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that they are, of course, costume jewelry, but 56 inches is really quite nice. Continuous, no clasp at all, right? No clasp. Now you hold them up and you're saying, Dr. All of you are saying, Dr. Lori, how do you know that they're not real? First of all, the luster is not consistent. They are not shiny in any way. They basically are relatively flat or dull. I can also see some inclusions within them, right? And it's okay. good that they are individually knotted, but that's not the only thing that we look for. It's one of the things you want to start to look for. Now, Debbie, of course, said, well, they're weighty, and that's something that you want to look for, too. And on other videos, I tell you exactly how to identify those pearls. So use the binge link and find out all the tips to identifying those pearls. But I think she did very well in picking them up for a dollar anyway, right? So you did great. Okay. For a dollar, yeah. the 56-inch long pearls are worth about $50. Oh, yeah, so well, pretty nice. And their costume, and they date, of course, to the mid-20th century. So I think you did a great job. Oh, thank you. I'm trying, Dr. Lori. I watch you so much, and I appreciate you with all my heart. Thank you. You're so sweet. Keep watching. There's so much information that I can share that I want to share with you. You will succeed. I, I hope that you're collecting in a category, because as you do that, you can, of course, increase value that way. I want you to also watch my selling videos. I'm doing a whole series of selling videos for you. Watch those and take notes or rewatch them. You know, you don't have to sit there with a notepad. Rewatch them. But the reselling tips I want you to think about. First of all, I want you to think about who's going to want these. When are they going to want these? So think about times like weddings, right? Who needs to have these kinds of things for a one-time occasion? Halloween, for example. Maybe somebody just says, mm. I like to put them over and over. You see me. I wear a lot of pearls and some are fake and some are real. And I wrap them and wrap them. And you have to think about who your end buyer is. Who is that end user? Who wants this piece? Who's going to want these pieces? Is it going to be some somebody who's in the 20-year-old age group or is it going to be somebody in the 50-year-old age group? And try to market to them and try to find the online sources that will market to those particular people. So you've got to start to learn where to sell to. And I'll help you do all of this. It's nice to see you, Debbie. Hey, question of the day. You're at the mm -hmm. diner. Pudding or Jello? Lime Jello. Lime Jello. Okay, you have a specific lime Jello. Okay, my favorite. Thanks, Debbie. Thank you. Have a happy day. Thank you, honey. I appreciate that. She did very well for a buck. I mean, how could you go wrong for a buck? And if you have that opportunity, it's a buck. You know, take a risk on a piece of costume jewelry for a dollar. My sister used to make a very, very dangerous, serious, delicious lime jello mold in the old days. <laughs> she was pretty good at that lime jello mold. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's exactly true. Pearls are very popular with younger people now. They're also popular. They're classic, you know, and they're coming back. About five, ten years ago, they really weren't in vogue, and now they're coming back strong. Costume jewelry, as well as, of course, fine jewelry, always a good investment. So don't forget about those. If you can pick them up for cheap, they can resell for a lot. My guests are here. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with this painting that looks like it has an architectural form. It's got a big brown frame. Yeah, that one. Hey, Dr. Lori. Hey, how are you? Who are you? I'm Hunter from Charleston, South Carolina. Hi, Hunter. How's it going? It's good. It's good. Can you show me your face, Hunter, so I can yeah. see you? I like to put a face with, a, with an object, you know? 
This is about a show, you know. I don't know how to turn it around. You did great, sweetie. Nice to see you. Like I'm down in the south and picked it up at an antique mall. So. Okay, so let's let's go around and look at that object. You don't look that excited about it, Hunter. What's the deal? Well, I got people telling me I'm crazy for buying it, but I'm like, it's okay. I'll reframe it and put it in the kitchen if it's not worth anything. How much did you pay for it? Thirty dollars. Where did you get it? I got it at an antique mall. Can you afford the thirty dollars? Yeah, it's no big deal. All right, it's no big deal. Show me it. Get closer to it. Okay. They're telling you you're crazy. Who are these people who tell you you're crazy when it's your money and you earned it? You can buy anything you want, right? Right. <laughs> hey, I like it for a couple of reasons. I like the detail. I like the brush stroke. Get down to the bottom. Let me see. Oh yeah, I like. Oh, I like the. I like the reflection. This artist isn't bad. This is not a, this is a complex composition. Back up for me, Hunter. Back up for me. Let's see what we've got there. That particular piece I like a lot. And I would say that I don't like the frame. I think the frame is horrible. Yeah, is it signed? It is signed on the front as well as the back. Okay. So what, who signed it? Uh, it's Paul. And then the last name's B-A-Y-L-I-T-I-S. B-A-Y-L-I-T-I-S. Okay. And then on the back, can you show me the back so we can look at the age of the canvas? Yeah. How old do you think the canvas is? You've been watching me for six, eight months. How old is the canvas? Um, well, it's dated for 1984. All right. So that particular canvas, you know, is late 20th century. I think mm -hmm. the frame is, is actually older than the canvas or the painting. I think that's a 1970s frame. And you can mm -hmm. see it because you've got that runner on the inside. That goes over into the 80s, but usually that's the 70s. I would say value on your piece is about 75 bucks. So I think you doubled your money. Yeah, that works. That works, right? <laughs> It where does. should you sell it? Then it's where should you sell it? So they don't go, oh, you're crazy. Where should you sell it? Think about online places. Think about interior designers. Think about also art will always increase in value. You're a young guy. You might just reframe it, put it up in your kitchen and wait it out. Because sometimes if you wait, you have to know when to sell. When to sell is just as important as what you're selling. So you might want to wait that out a little bit. And maybe you'll get a little bit more than the $75 that it's worth today based on actual sales records. All right. I appreciate it. Hunter, you're doing great. Don't don't listen to the naysayers, Hunter. Well, I forgot. I didn't get a chance to ask him about the question of the day, but I'll get him the next time. So again, when you're looking at these objects, when you're trying to decide, first of all, look for condition, look for quality. That was a complex composition. So when the composition is complex, a lot going on, as long as it's realistically executed, right? It looks like that architecture in the back with the with the bridge, with the flowing water, if it looks realistic to you, you're doing relatively very, you're doing very well. Robin, thank you. You're supporting the channel when you buy a t-shirt. Thank you. I appreciate it. I need you to share. I need you to support the channel as best you can. Yes, yes. I'm so glad. I learned a lot from an earlier video you did about fake pearls. I've done a lot of videos about how to tell. I'm so glad that you're learning. I want you guys to learn. And when you learn, you're going to succeed and that's going to benefit all of you. Jello's your pick. I got to say, I like pudding, but I don't mind jello. I really don't mind jello, but I like the lime. I also like the strawberry jello. Cherry, too much, too red for me. Okay, my guests are here. Let's see what else we've got. <laughs> Hold up those objects. Let's see what you've got. Let's talk about this candelabra. What's your name? Where are you Brenda. calling from? I'm Brenda. Can you hear me? Yes, Brenda. How are you? I'm fine. I'm calling from Olathe, Kansas. You're calling from Kansas? Yes. I need you to move your hand away from your camera if you can. And what, what object would you like to show me and tell me how you acquired it? It's a, it's a, I'm not sure how to get me and the camera in there. there you don't need to be in there. I only need to see the object. Okay. Thank you. Let me turn it around. Need to see the object. Back up for me, hon. Okay. Classical revival. That's late 19th, early 20th century. So it's got that nice urn shape at the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. And then you also don't move it. Don't keep moving it now. Okay. That's all I want to do. Show and tell moving it. Don't move it. <laughs> and then you've got the crystals and those particular prism crystals are very typical of the late 19th century. This is revived in the 1940s too. So you have to know, am I getting a piece from 1890 or am I getting a piece from 1940? There's a difference. How'd you acquire this piece? And did you, did you have two? I have one. I inherited it. Okay. Okay. And it is a four-arm candelabra, and then there's a central arm at the top? Yes. 
It's Great. very heavy. It's marble and I think brass. Okay, can I see the marble? Is the base marble? Yeah, good? it's marble and cast brass. It dates to the late 19th century. And if it is 24 inches tall, is it two feet tall? I would say so. Two feet tall. I'd say value on it, $150 for one. I wish you had the pair because it would be $400 for the pair. So remember, when you have the sets, the value goes up. People like sets. Very nice. Uh, of course, made abroad and then exported here into the United or imported into the United States. Nice, nice family heirloom. Those are good. Do you use it? No, I don't. I, in fact, I need to find a market and I'm not sure where to begin. Okay, well, my reselling tips and my videos on selling will help you do that. So will my blog at drlaurieV.com. You can go there right at the top. It says blog. Read the blogs. They'll help you with selling too. My question of the day for you, of course, you're at the diner and they're offering you for dessert, pudding or jello. What do you pick? Pudding every time. Pudding every time. Nice to see you. And it's nice to see all of you every time. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I'll see you next time.